everyone and welcome to Scrap Saturdays. I hope you're all doing well. So I'm going to come to the end of my Felicity Jane Autumn Kit. Kit. <laughs> Something like that. Something like that. And this is the uh, video that I've been promising for a long time that I was just going to show you what I do. So what do you do with your layouts? Asks my people. That's you guys. You guys are my people, right? <laughs> and so I've showed you this before where I've purchased these Wilson Jones premium clear sheet protectors. I wrote down the price because that's how much I paid for it at that time, which might have been a couple of years ago, but you get 200 of these for 10 bucks at Costco. These, this is Canadian, so probably $3 American. <laughs> I know that's exaggerating, but you know. The only downfall to these page protectors is that they have white on the side. That might be something that would be picky for you. You might not like it. So look for ones that don't have that if you want to at Staples. I don't know what stores you have in the US, my darling friends, so I don't know. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna put that on the ground because my desk is so tiny. I lifted up my camera so that it could be like full view. Now. I think I showed you this Felicity Jane pocket protector page. I don't know what it is. It's just a, it's just a pouch. Yeah, that's what it is. And we're going to make a lot of crinkly noise, a lot of crinkly noise. And th actually that's really good for mixed media. So I'm going to keep that. Yup. Yeah goes over there on my trolley so now it's got this really cute scallop border and it's just a button closure thing and what I was deciding that I wanted to do was to put my leftover photographs from this little trip that I took with Alan and then tuck it here into the side pocket of my binder and so now I'm just gonna close the binder up first and basically show you what I have left. And so for, I have, I have no place to put things, so I'm trying to like make sure that I'm showing you what I have left. I have, is this from the, yeah, this is from the autumn kit. Now, when I got these alphas from the autumn kit, I got two of them because I love the gold on them and I use them in my December daily. Do not ask me about my December daily. I refuse to comment. <laughs> okay, let's not talk about it. I will finish it, okay? I promise. Just don't bother me about it because I don't know what to say. I'm so embarrassed. Anyhow, <clears throat> continuing on. I bought two of these and so I will, I try to use all of, I, I try to make titles and I'll show you in a second when I show you my layouts. I try to use all of my letters to make just kind of other words to use up as much as I could, but this is what I have left over. And it's always, I mean, I don't know how you guys feel, but I don't use numbers that often, right? And personally, I wish that maybe we could do like one to 10 I like the zeros because I use them as, you know, O's, but really all these numbers are such a waste. I wish that they were more vowels or maybe more T's and H's, H's for sure. Even though I didn't use the H's on this one, I can still write the word this. Anyhow, I needed to have like more letters so that I can put my favorite stuff like this love, this life, this moment. Something's falling. I digress, but you get it, right? So that's what I have left in terms of letters. I have this. Oh, that needs to go in the picture thing. I was going to use that, remember? And I have these pieces of paper left, plus this, and all of these little hodgepodge little bits. Yes, I still have a tag left. I still have a full embellishment pack left. All of these Project Life type cards left. And then all of these little things here. One little rubber piece, some flare badges, all the leafs that I cut out, which will match all of the Felicity Jane stuff. Some of my banners still that I have. My little 
baby banners, all of it. The paper clips, I keep like reusing it from kit to kit. And then I've got four buttons left from like the thousands of buttons that came in here. So I think I've done pretty well. I have to digress so I can get onto the Regan kit. I don't know if I will come back and even do any more layouts, to be honest with you. I'm not going to lie to you. Maybe I'll use this, you know, and show you how I can create other things or put them all together. I think Victoria Marie did something like that, where she took all of her Felicity Jane stuff and she just hodgepodged it all together and then created um, layouts like that right something like that so now these are not in any particular order you saw this one that I did where I used uh, four photographs there is no photo on the back this one was I'm gonna say yesterday's or today's that just went up same thing this one you haven't seen because I did create a video for it but mm, I don't know if I'm gonna upload I think this is where I actually used a marker and did my own journaling here. I do love the way this layout turned out. Awesome. But I was really telling myself to just get it done. I used up the last two of those rubber X's there. This is one that you didn't... Oh, my G is missing. Ooh. I'm going to have to find out where the other G went. For sure there was a G there for darling. But now it's just darlin. But that's okay. We'll find it. I'm sure it'll turn up. I'm not worried. And I don't know where all these... Oh, I didn't stick down tags. Oh my gosh. This happens to me all the time. <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure these go somewhere here, maybe. I don't even know. I'm going to leave them on my desk and keep going, right? Yes. So I think I used the letter G here for sure and I created the darling one. And again, it was just to get it done. So this is just my natural layouts, my natural go-to spreads with the top part. This is because it had to hide the manufacturing strip. This grateful for you card is actually the thank you card that Gina sends us. So you've seen this one. There is a process video for this layout, which is my favorite because of the circle that I created for the grateful and the bow. Oh my gosh, so cute. And then on the back side, I created this one and I titled it Amazing. This was one of those words that I was able to do. I do love these black and white rubber um, leaves. They're just so cute. I'm going to keep this layout aside just because I know I have to finish something on it. So yeah. Oh, there's the G. See? I told you. It's a bad boy. It wants to run away. Okay. So then there's this layout, which is very fast, very simple. It's basic. I use the rest of those vellum leaves, right? I used like leftover paper. I think I made a boo-boo here, but that's okay. And then I was able to spill out the whole wor word beautiful, which... For me, it's such a beautiful place. And then a lot of gold shimmer sprinkling, some stapled, you know, tags at the top. You already saw a video for this one, which is, yeah, I'm going to keep saying they're all my favorite, but I love the way that cork leaf landed there. I love that I stamped there. I love the dimension on all the, could you believe I'm actually going to say that I love to fussy cut these things? <gasps> Unbelievable. Yeah, but that's a true story. There is a video for this one as well. I didn't use the other side. I thought I was going to get to a point where I was going to do the other side, but I didn't. I don't know where this family belongs. I don't think I used it, so I'm going to put it back. There's a video for that one. There's a video for this one. There's a fun video for this one. This was the first one, the one where I did it with Alan. And then, oh, I just love the colors. I love when it's dark like that. It's such a pretty tone, such a pretty thing. Okay, so that's what I did. I did one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen layouts. That's not bad, right? 13 layouts is not bad at all. So, 
coming back to this. I don't know if there's too much glare. This is a Hillroy Plus two inch binder. I normally go for a three inch binder, but for this time, for whatever reason, I picked up this one and then I thought, no, I'll just go with it and I will make it work. And that's what we're gonna do. It's just fine with me. So basically, I'm not gonna start with Maybe I'll start with this one. I'm not going to start with one that goes horizontal. Is that right? I'm going to start with the vertical one first. Now it's always challenging to put layouts with so much dimension into pocket protectors or page protectors because I have to go back and forth as soon as I feel any resistance and kind of just manipulate it into its place. At least that's what I do. I don't know about you guys, but that's what I do. And so, to be honest with you, I haven't put an album together in such a long time. So I don't truly have like this amazing process of putting away all of my layouts. I just don't. <laughs> I'm a bad girl. So yeah, that's one of the questions that you guys ask me is that, you know, if it's going this way, right, what does it look like in an album when it's that way? It looks the same. There's no actual difference because we just keep it going, right? You can rotate a little bit. And again, honestly, guys, I know it's the sadness, but it's the truth, the truth that we must speak out loud. Maybe my kids will take a look at this because I'll put this on the coffee table for right now. And maybe they'll be like, oh, mom, that's so nice. That's great for like five minutes. And then what? Yeah. And then it just goes there. It just goes there. It goes onto my shelf and maybe the odd time when I'm feeling really like, you know, and somebody asks me, what do I do? And, you know, what do I do with my layouts? And I'll be like, oh, look, I can show you this album. <laughs> because it's really not something anybody does anymore. I don't think anybody actually sits and looks at photo albums anymore. Do they? I don't think they do. Let me see. What do I want to put next? one what's on here yep so now I could leave this like this I could because if you like your patterned paper and you don't want to do it double-sided you don't have to there's no rules that say you have to do something if you don't want to Hopefully this is not the most boring video you've ever seen, but then now I can reference it and I can tell you if you have any questions or concerns, <laughs> please refer to my very long boring video on how I put my albums together. Mm -hmm. But really I have to like, I have a whole bunch of, like I told you in the hallway, I have to get on it. Is that how I want that one? Yeah. Maybe no. It should be like that. I think I have to flip the other one. So it was so fun. It was a lot of fun to scrapbook pictures from so long ago. And even when Alan would, you know, stop by and take a look at what I was working on, even he got really happy and emotional. And, you know, we started reminding each other that it's been a while since we've gone away and taken time for each other. No, I'm going to keep that one like that because for this one, it looks good like that on this side. So I'm going to sacrifice. I'm going to sacrifice. And should it be like that? And this one has none? Yeah. I know I got to fix that, but that's okay. I 
don't know what I'm stuck on. I'm stuck on the bicycle. So yeah, I really enjoy doing double-sided layouts. I don't enjoy putting double-sided layouts into albums. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just trying to do it so fast so you guys don't get stuck watching something you don't want to watch. Yep, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take all of these out because they're done anyway. I just need one more. Close this up. Yes. Are you still with me? Mm -hmm. That's where I'm going to put it. And I'm going to leave that patterned paper on the back on purpose because it matches the other side and it goes somewhat in that order. And I can use these or the other page. I could, I, I get so inspired, I feel like I should be making more layouts. But no, you have to find a place where you totally digress and you're okay with everything. And so, yeah, okay. So now, this is what it looks like. This is what a two inch binder looks like with my very detailed, super thick, um, layouts with lots of dimension and lots of stuff in it. So now it can fit way more. I can probably get another six or seven pages in here for sure. I have way thicker albums because it actually settles pretty tight, right? That's pretty decent for the amount of stuff that I have in there. But that's why I gravitate to my three inch binders because they give me so much more space. Now, if you're just doing a one event type album, this is perfect. Like I told you, this binder from Walmart is $5. I just have to find, and I'm going to start looking at staples in an online. I just don't know. Maybe you know uh, where I can buy book plates and I would buy them all matching, of course, so that I can, even if I had to use, you know, some crazy, uh, I think it's called EO something something glue, that would stick there, and then I could label it, you know, Blue Mountain, and if I remember what year things are. So now I have an album where I can, you know, open it up and actually say, look, this is what we did. And it's actually about one thing, one event. So I'm really liking that this can host my other 500 billion, you know, pictures. And it also serves a purpose for having, you know, this here on the side. So if people want to look through those, it's just duplicates or, you know, just pictures that I just didn't feel inspired to scrapbook. And then the only thing that makes it difficult or that is challenging is that people won't really go and reach in here unless I tell them my kids will know so that if they really want to make the effort so my journaling isn't facing you right so if there's anything private or something you don't want to share it's actually a challenge to get in there and to look at it right and so then yeah this is what it's going to look like this is what this album is going to be and I think it's just so pretty I think it's you know still you know, even though I, I do the landscape, what is this, landscaping, like this, horizontal, it still works, right? And even for this one, it's not the end of the world to reach in and pull on that tag. But, but again, I don't think people will, you know, there's a little bit of journaling peeking out there, again here. But as I say, the most important people, like that one's totally the opposite way, but it doesn't matter. Um... Yeah, so you can totally tell that I am kind of leaving a story behind. I love the way, I, I love this black paper. It just, there's something about it. Like there was so much softness to it, but yet so much color. Like it was just the perfect, I love every single one. I love every single one of Felicity Jane kits. I just love the colors. I love how everything matches. That's what makes me very giddy. And I love that I use the banner die here. And yes, 
Uh, Valerie, thank you so much for leaving me a comment today telling me that you bought the uh, nested banner dies. I love them. I, I honestly, guys, and then somebody else asked me too. I know you said you were a Canadian fellow scrapper and you're asking me about the smaller stitched banner die. And that is also from Simon Says Stamp. That's where I got all of my um, dies were from Simon Says Stamp. So I don't know if they still have them, but I think that they do. The one that I got with the baby or the small banner came with a square like a card size stitch die and then it had a star it had a heart it had that small banner it had a few different it had a few circle stitched ones um yeah so it's it was it had a multi-purpose type pack it wasn't just the banners so I love it and I love just reusing that stuff one you feel like you're getting your money's worth and that is so vital to us right it's one thing to buy stuff it's another thing to just have it sit and then feel guilty on top of the guilt on top of the guilt right which we don't need my friends and there's no shame like when you flip through my albums as I'm doing with you right now it's cohesive it looks good because it all all matches right there's a place for everything all of my stuff all my little banners they just kind of fit and I still have to stick the other ones here and then the last page which technically should go the other way but like I said for the amount of people who are looking at your album it doesn't matter but I just love the way it flows love the way this album turned out it's so special um, yeah, this is going to go on my coffee table for a few days. I should get back into the habit of that. So thank you. It's so much fun. Like you see, you do see that there's white here. And again, if that bothers you, please look for clear ones. I don't know if they have any other clear ones. It also says Wilson Jones on there. I'm not sure how you feel about it or what you don't, but these page protectors are acid and lignin free or however you say that word. If that matters, yay. And so we're done. We are done. And yeah, I really need to get into the habit of doing all this. I think for my other three inch binder that I have on the ground, I'm gonna put all of my Felicity Jane layouts all together. Um, try to put in put them into some sort of sequence but if I get into the habit now I won't feel so guilty and that's the most important part I do have two other binders from my vacation photos photos excuse me with the hip kits that I've been working on and so yeah I'm just so excited and so I'm gonna put the remainder of my autumn kit with my I think it was Mila kit was before that and I'm going to put that all together and then maybe just use them. I hope. I don't know. I don't even know what to say. Right? It's so hard. I mean, I already think that it's January. It's February, literally. Next week it's February. And the truth is, if you're not in a routine of actually cutting into your kits, that's the first thing. You just have to do it. Just what I'm showing you is the most important part. It's cutting into them and using all of your dies and using everything to come together and stamping and creating everything so that you've got it all there. That's step number one. Step number two is maybe if you don't have current photos but you have photo boxes like myself full of memories from yonder years, then pull them out, right? Black and white, it doesn't matter. You know, I had to cut ones into the shapes that I like working with now. This one I actually tore the edge. And yeah, I, I, I think I started that style already where I really like the Instagram size, right? And don't be afraid to be repetitive. Like most of these pictures are all the same. We're in the same spot. We're in the same place taking the same, you know, kissy, kissy, kissy photos. But that's like this photo was the same as that photo but it doesn't matter it doesn't matter because in the end it's you created something that came from your heart that you wanted to document again you're scrapbooking for yourself I promise you you are you're telling me you're doing it for other people but you're not because nobody else is going to judge this everyone's going to look at this and be blown away they're gonna be like oh my gosh you how, how did you start where did you start that's what they tell me they they look at all of this and it's they're shocked. They have no idea. Even printing a photo for them is a challenge. They're like, oh my, all my pictures are on some sort of memory stick. They have no idea <laughs> what we do, right? They have no idea, let alone putting together an album and putting it on my coffee table. And then they start going, oh, look at her. Look at her with her albums. <laughs> no, nobody says that to me. Nobody comes here to look at them. 
I'm just pretending. I'm imagining that's what they'd say to me. No, that's what people say. <laughs> anyway, okay, so we're done. We're done with the autumn kit. I hope that you enjoyed, 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 enjoyed. Yes, enjoyed. I don't drink coffee. Maybe I should start. I don't know. All right, so I'm sitting in my craft room and what am I gonna do after this? It's gonna be video after video after video. The next one's gonna be live too because I'm gonna cut into my Regan kit. Uh, I don't know how much I'm gonna show you. I don't know how repetitive you would like it to be. I use the re word repetitive very uh, respectfully because I know that everybody who watches me is at different stages, right? I do know that I also have quite a few new subscribers who haven't really been exposed to my style and I don't know what I can offer people, but I'm gonna try to be as consistent as I can be. Um, when I am making the preparation kits or when I'm showing you how I hack into my scrapbooking kits. And then I will be showing you in the summertime because I don't have any summertime photos right now. I live in Alaska, literally. Sorry for people who live in Alaska, but it's freezing here in Ontario. Uh, it is so cold. It is so cold. That, uh, yeah, today it's like plus one maybe the temperature and I'm pretty sure there's people outside wearing shorts because it's not minus 44 from like last week but it's still too cold for me uh but what was I gonna say I'm gonna come over here and yeah so I had showed you so let's close that up and I'll just sneak that in here just for now I had showed you that um Gabriella had bought or purchased this for me for um Christmas Exacto knife is. Sorry, I don't know how to tell you what I gotta tell you. Yeah, do not use your exacto knife towards your body like I just did. That's dangerous. Children, don't do that. Um yeah, so she got me this fantastic paper pad from Michael. So it's the Craft Smith. Um, and I love it. I really, really love it. It's got the right tones for me and I think it's very pretty. And I remember looking at it a few times when I was shopping with Gabriella. And basically, I can see myself creating some pretty beautiful um, layouts with this and just some envelope and tags and stuff like that so again it's the same mentality as um, like this page would be hard for me to use because I'm an eight and a half by eleven scrapbooker although it's beautiful I think maybe I'd fussy cut out these leaves but I don't think I would use the middle of it but I love like this is totally my jam like I need some sort of like shawly wrap with all these leaves on it. I just love it with some gold fringe. Oh, just makes me so giddy. And I just love the gold embossing on there. Again, same thing with this. Not sure if I would just cut out the words maybe. I don't know. Love it. Makes me so happy. I love the plain ones too for creating backgrounds. That's what I look at when I look at a paper pad like this. I'd be like, what would I do with it? I would create a background. And then of course you've got border strips, which you know, it's there are your die cuts. That's how you do it. And then the rest of it, just like now I'm getting repetitive because you've seen it all, right? Okay. So what I wanted to do with this was show you that instead if you're not getting a Felicity Jane kit, which you don't have to, or a hip kit or whatever, but you are purchasing papers from Michaels, then I wanted to show you how I would create my own, like I would cut these papers up, I would do what I wanted to do, and then you know, make all of my die cuts, use stamp sets that I have from before that would be summertimey. Some of them could be from Felicity Jane. I have some, uh, what's the other thing that I used to be a part of? Oh my gosh, I've forgotten now. But you know, the other kit that I did before. Uh, yeah, so all those kinds of stamps. It's going to bother me. Scraptastic, for goodness sakes. <laughs> What is wrong with me? I don't know. I need a moment. But uh, yes, so I would show you what I would do with this so that you in turn could see that it's not just because it's a kit. It's how you 
act upon what you have. It's how you attack it. It's how you dig into it and use everything that you have, like your, your cuddle bug folders and embossing stuff and everything. Everything can come together and then you put in your beautiful vacation photos, right? And then you start it going and then you put it into an album and then we're done. So I'm going to do that with this as well. I promise. I think. I hope. Don't hold on to my promises because I have no idea. But that's what I'm looking forward to do. Like, look at that piece of paper. It's so nice. And I have, I have to actually dust off my Cricut because I do have, I don't know, it's some sort of summer Hawaiian cartridge that cuts out these big, you know, leaves with the holes in them. I don't know what kind of leaves they are, but they are so beautiful. And so I need to do that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yep. So now we're going to go on to the Regan kit. Yay! Was that too much talking? I think that was too much talking. We need like a moment of silence. <sighs> okay. Be inspired. Yes. Be inspired to create an album with your layouts. Be inspired to hack into your kits. Cut them up. We're going to cut them up together. Get your stuff ready. That's what we're doing in the next video. We're cutting into our kits. We're preparing them. We're getting used to the paper. We're being inspired by the colors. We're not making any excuses. The kits are not going to get old and stale. We're going to hack into them right away because we love them and we want to play with them right, 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 right now. Right? Perfect. Big hugs, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I will see you all very, very soon.